there everybody hello hello happy Friday how are you my name is Melissa and this is my coaching group to help you grow your business with tips and tools and motivation every Friday so this past week in the blog I talked about my favorite four letter words and they are free help and in that blog I gave you a great strategy in how to go about finding that free help and what to do with that free help so today we are going to go into four more strategies to help get you more visibility, productivity, and calm in your life so you can do what you do best in your business. So let's dive in. All right, these are not new, these are fun, these are creative. As a mama of five, I have to be creative and um, frugal at times with what I do and how can I do it um, the most efficiently, least expensively, um, get more bang for my buck. And I think honestly, no matter where you are in life, you always are trying to do that, right? So the first one, um, strategy that I have for you is to trade with a client. All right. So maybe you have a client, um, that you're, that pays you already, but they have a gift in bookkeeping or they have a gift in um, editing videos or they have a gift somewhere that you could really use, okay? So maybe they can swap time. Um, studios do this all the time with parents um, working the front desk for free tuition. So there's ways to do that. So how could you do that in your business? Is there a client that does something that you could trade and swap for and get um, something off your plate so that you can do what you do best. All right, the next one, this one was brought to me just this week through one of my kiddos teachers. Um, hi, hiring a student who needs volunteer hours, okay? National Honor Society kiddos, they need, they need tons of hours. There's a lot of community services or community um, groups in our community that do volunteer things and sometimes they need those volunteer hours individually so I was talking to this teacher and saying how my my kid wants to play the bass and my other kid wants to play the drums and she goes my son needs NHS hours he could teach your kid to play the drums and I'm like yes because my kid is six and I'm by myself and it would be really great if he could do that so we're gonna do that so this isn't maybe business-wise, but it would save me some drive time and it makes my life easier. So it saves me some chaos in my life to have that high school kiddo come to my house to teach my kid drums or to tutor my kid or to um, help, you know, maybe it's a personal assistant where they're running errands for you. So think outside the box there with, um, with a student for volunteer hours and maybe it's two or three a week that they get and and help you out in a season of your life okay um, the next one is influencers who are your personal who in your network is an influencer who has a group of people now this is particularly um, you know if you're trying to um, maybe sell something okay Maybe you don't have the cash to go for Facebook ads, or maybe you don't um, want to print out a bunch of posters. Who do you have that in your network who knows a lot of people? Hi, Audrey. Um, who can bring, go outside and, and market for you, okay? Um, I do this each time I launch uh, my TDH virtual. I select a group of people that I know has some influence and I ask for their help in doing that. It's free. Um, I may gift them a little something as a thank you, but it, in all, you know, in the in grand scheme, it's free and it gets more eyes on you, okay? So that's a way to market and outreach that a little bit more. So that's a little bit on marketing and, you know, help um, inside your, um, what I'm trying to say here is strategy for free help, okay? And the last one, I should have said like 3.5, um, tools or tricks today um, I'm assuming some of you have kiddos okay and I have kids and I give them chores but I give them chores that are truly to help save me time I don't mow my lawn they mow the lawn I don't do the laundry they do the laundry um, I don't I mean I don't really vacuum anymore they vacuum so um, 
um, so some of you might hire a cleaning person, okay? Yes, it's not gonna be done amazingly well, okay? But it saves me time, okay? It saves me 45 minutes not to mow the lawn so I can, you know, hang out with the other kiddo or help with something else or do something in my business. So for those of you that have kids, I, I trust that you're giving them some chores, but maybe, you know, give them a little bit more so that they're helping you. My um, second one really helps me with the business. So I'll give her tasks within the business that I'm like, I don't need to do this. She can do this. And yes, I do pay her a little bit or I drive her to the event that she needs. Okay. So there's that negotiation there too. So creative ways there. And I know that one's a little bit more personal for those of you that have kiddos. So number one, we had four strategies today. Number one, trade with a client, okay? Um, and help each other that way. That is just number, that's a great way to help each other in business, especially if they're another business owner. Um, see who you can hire to serve you for volunteer hours, okay? So I said a National Honor Society student, okay? So those are all high school kiddos. Um, maybe, um, like a 4-H group, you know, so they're always looking for, uh, to help serve. So, um, NHS was my, uh, recommendation and then influencers within your circle that to maybe help get some more eyes on you. If you're needing some marketing help, um, that's a way to, um, help grow your business creatively without spending a lot of money. Okay. And then if you have kids, put them to work y'all. Okay. Um, so that's my tip. I hope you guys are well. Um, I am looking for about three more people who have been in business and I'm not going to even say five years or less because what I'm finding out is that, um, I'm getting more value the longer you've been in business. Um, so if you want to sit down for about a 30 minute conversation and, um, let me just ask you some questions about your business and what you, um, ha um, need, learn. I just kind of want to know, uh, where you are at so that I can maybe um, grow this pr uh, project that I'm thinking about, okay? So there, that's as vague as anything, okay? Hope you guys are well and have a great Friday and thanks for watching. Comment below with what you are going to do to help free up some of your time to make your light shine brighter, okay? Go crush your day, y'all. Peace, bye-bye.